600 left to go though and it's it shows the way out there at a brilliant pace in the bow fine leads potent secret then Lockroy a length and a half camped off them speed on the fence first among equals Mitchell hugs the rail coming into the corner then pretentious chant Agachar Cruz Woolabar Hobart Jones Dendy dropping out last at the 300 it's it the leader a length and a half over on the outside Lockroy runs on pretentious chant first among equals under pressure down towards the inside Agachar Cruz is threading its way through. It's hit the leader. Now first among equals starts to dig in. It's hit holding on, however, and it's hit has scrambled in. It's hit has got the money here and given young Randy Tan his biggest winner. He's got the money here narrowly from first among equals. Over on the outside, pretentious chant and also Lock Roy. They've photoed third together, nearly a dead heat from Agachar Cruz and then Hobart Jones, potent secret, followed by Woolabar and Dendy had whipped the field in. Great result here for Randy Tan. He's ridden a double this afternoon and he has been able to just hold on with It's It prevailing first among equals, first run since that uh, injury he sustained in the Darley Goodwood at Morfordville. He took some time under the 61 over the thousand metres to pick up he was coming late he would have won with another stride but it's it number seven the knowledge gelding for Sharon Miller has clung on by the skin of its teeth and has certainly earned his very first black type victory becoming a listed winner at his 31st start with his eighth win he's held on by the skin of its teeth at four dollars ninety and one seventy first among equals Aaron Mitchell one dollar thirty and it's awfully close there for the minor placing. The judge still deliberating on the outcome there. And uh, that is between Lockroy and pretentious chant. And the margin will be a very skinny one if there is a margin in actual fact. And behind the Magachar Cruz. But today honours with it's it by knowledge from Tiffany Island for I and MJ Roberts. Trained by Sharon Miller. The second leg of a double for Randy Tan. First among equals, second home, and exceed and excel, pride of the class gilding for Brett Fogarty, trained by Simon Miller, handled by Aaron Mitchell. He just struggled to really let down and explode under the weight, but he kept on coming. He was strong on the line, and Lock Roy, number eight, might have grabbed third. Looking at the photo result here, he has just in front of number 10, pretentious chant. Lock Roy, the uh, more than ready pile of success gilding for Chris Gann, Jimmy Sean McGruddy pays $4.90. So a great result here for Randy Tan with uh, a black type winner here today. Uh, Randy getting into the back part of his apprenticeship as well and a second on the apprentices uh, list to Aaron Mitchell. He's got the wood on Mitch here in this particular race today and of course Mitch uh, the way the season's unfolded will become our leading apprentice for 2016-17 as they make their way back in after the feature race on the card the Bowfine Stakes the last at 4.57 take out 14 my name is Sue and 16 Smarty Wilson 14 and 16 margins were a nose by three quarters a nose three quarters and a nose 58 02 they ran and they did sprint quickly from the corner 33 8 0 as Adam joins us now from the winners enclosure Sharon, I don't know if you heard the preview. We talked about it's it, and we gave big credit to you, keeping Randy Tan on. It's always tough, I guess, in a listed race. People might want your William Pikes and your Jared Noskies, Brad Parnham's these times, but Randy been riding this horse so well. You've backed the kid in. He's delivered on the big stage. Yeah, he's been going nice on the horse. As you know, the horse is a pretty revvy fellow, and if you move on him at the wrong time, he'll just go. And Randy's been doing a great job. And um, So if you want him to finish off that last bit, you've got to sit as quiet as a mouse, and he does it well. You were only beaten a long neck last time by Pretentious Chan. You had a three and a half kilo swing, and probably the biggest key as well, they didn't really take you on through those early stages. No, I thought those other two would tackle me hard today, and um, I said to Randy, if they really do, and you can sit behind if you want but it was good they uh, left us alone a little bit and we got away with it. He's just a different horse when he comes to Belmont Park, isn't he? A bit of a sting out of the track, seems to love this track and it goes so well here. Yeah, and, and I think just keeping him to the thousand, um, you know, it just helps him that little bit. Took me a while to talk the owners into just doing that, but I think they like it now. <laughs> so do you just keep going around in the, the 78 plus type of races over a thousand now? Yeah, well, something like that, maybe a 1200 at the most. 
congratulations, Sharon. Big moment. Well done on the win. Thank you. There's Sharon Miller. Let's grab Randy Tan. Randy, listed winner, mate. How does it feel? Yeah, I feel really good. Like, I have to thank uh, Sharon Miller and the owners for the um, opportunity. Yeah. Massive responsibility, isn't it? To keep you on in a big race like this, they truly backed you. Um, well, the horse goes all right, that's why. <laughs> but um, anyway, he likes running in front, and I think the timing is just the most important part of him letting him go, yeah. Tell us about the run throughout there. I'm sure you would have heard first among Eccles breathing down your neck and then he started coming up on the inside. Did you think you'd still held him out? Yeah, I sort of thought it was pretty close, but yeah. Well done, mate. Congratulations. As we said, the biggest win in your career so far. I'm sure there's plenty more to come, but this starts something very big for you, mate. Well done. Thank you. There's Randy Tan, his first listed winner here aboard. It's it, tanking out the listed Bofine Stakes for 2017.